Is entropy increasing or decreasing when ice melts? Well, the official answer is that it is increasing, just like the temperature is, presumably. That's because entropy is a measure of disorder. And so I want to talk about what the structure of ice is. You've got, well, first of all, it's a solid, right? And you've got these water molecules, and they're actually locked into hexagons with hydrogen bonding. Don't know if you knew that that's how ice actually holds its form and it's why it takes up more space. And also I'm not really drawing the bond angles correctly for this to be a hexagon, but like whatever. The dotted lines here are meant to be hydrogen bonds. And look, there's some empty space in there, but everything here is basically locked into position. There's not a whole lot of movement that can happen, although there is still some movement, there's little vibrations happening. But, you know, ice doesn't just flow on its own. It, it just sits there, right? It's a solid. There's not a lot of disorder. Everything's neatly packed. Bam. When you're melting it, what you're actually doing is allowing some of those hydrogen bonds to release. Now, you're not breaking all of the hydrogen bonds, you're just breaking up enough that these molecules can flow over top of each other. So what has more disorder? A bunch of people who are handcuffed together or those same four people when they're not handcuffed together? Well, there's more disorder when the people aren't, are. There's more disorder when they're not wearing handcuffs aka hydrogen bonds. Anyways, the point is, when you melt something, convert it from a solid to a liquid, you're increasing the disorder, and that's why water flows and ice doesn't, and that's because the entropy is increasing. Cool? Cool. P.S. If you were also asked about turning the liquid into a gas, the entropy is also increasing in that direction. That's entropy. What up? Best of luck.